We have team coverage on the Freedom Rally at Chrissy Field and the No to Marxism event in Berkeley. We begin tonight with Don Lynn. Don? Right. The city of Berkeley has denied the permit request for this Sunday's rally known as No to Marxism, but the mayor believes the organizers will still attend the event this weekend, and he suspects a lot of white nationalists will also be here. That's why he's asking folks not to engage with them. Instead, he's hoping folks will blanket the city with this sign, asking folks to put the, this sign in front of stores and homes. They may have concealed guns. They may. They may have uh, tear gas. These folks plan to stay away from Civic Center Park Sunday. They're making signs for peaceful counter demonstrations at other parts of Berkeley. My sign is going to say no hate here. You can't ignore Trump anymore, and you can't ignore the right after Charlottesville, after what they did there. Just to ignore them is, at this point, empowering them. A lot of posters, signs, and messages. Most of them convey love and unity. Berkeley Mayor Jesse Edegin is endorsing this one. Berkeley stands united against hate. People can pick them up for free throughout the city. When these groups come to Berkeley on Sunday, every corner of the city they'll see that Berkeley is united against hate. A transgender woman is organizing a rally called No to Marxism in America at the park. The mayor says problem is a lot of white nationalists plan to attend. They've been broadcasting, you know, it's been characterized as the battle for Berkeley 3. Two rallies and counter demonstrations in March and April turned violent and ugly. The mayor says some of the same troublemakers are coming back. In fact, the U.S. Postal Service will remove a dozen collection boxes near Civic Center Park, fearing people will blow them up or damage them. They want that confrontation. They want that, they want that headline. Lori Reed got a bunch of posters for her and her neighbor's houses. She hopes these signs will greet the white nationalists at every corner. We can be bigger and louder than them with a very different message. Even with the permit denied here this Sunday, they still expect a big crowd here, and a lot of police officers will be working overtime. Veronica Berkeley Police will be getting help from Alameda County Sheriff's mm -hmm. deputies and also UC Berkeley Police. Back wow. to you. All right, Dolan, we appreciate it. Thank you.